I'm Brian Overland, author of C++ Without Fear, second edition. I'd like to talk about object-oriented programming, how it works into my book, C++ Without Fear, second edition, what the approach is. And, and first of all, let's start with a brief overview of what it is and why it's important. Um, I found that for the last 20 or 30 years, object-oriented programming has been the big buzzword in programming. It's been replaced now by some other concepts like rules-based programming. But it's still absolutely critical because now it's become the basis for Windows programming. It's become the basis for event-oriented programming. It's becoming the basis for network programming. All the new technologies are going beyond object-oriented programming. But they are now assuming that you know that. So if you have ambition some days to uh, someday to do any kind of serious systems programming or interact with any new technology, you do need to learn some of this stuff. Um, the, the approach in my book is to simplify object-oriented programming, to clarify what it is, to make it less scary and less threatening. Uh, my problem with uh, a lot of other programming texts is that they either give a very, very super technical explanation of what it is, or they give a very fanciful, um, esoteric, flowery, and basically inaccurate description of object-oriented programming. But basically what it is, it's a way, it's a, it's a better way to organize programs when you're dealing with complex systems. And uh, simply, it's, it's organizing the code and the data together. Let me explain that uh, a little bit briefly. Some of you will know exactly what code and data are. But um, code is the behavior of the program, and data is the information. So object-oriented programming is simply a way of combining data with uh, the behavior that affects that particular kind of data. It's a superior way of organizing programs, but um, it's also a very difficult subject, potentially, because I found that to come up with an example that illustrates why it's useful, you, you typically have to write a program that's thousands and thousands of lines long. But there are some exceptions. And uh, primarily, when you're interacting with a complex system or a complicated library that assumes it, you need to understand object-oriented programming. And so that's the approach in my book. First of all, to, to simplify it, to demystify the subject. Um, I then go on to... Uh, devote about half the book to developing an object type, which is extremely useful. That's called the fraction type. But the most important thing, ultimately, is that the object-oriented syntax is used as a basis for interacting with something called the standard template library. And when you get there, when you get to the standard template library and you use the object-oriented syntax to interact with this library, you'll find that this will simplify a large class of programming problems. You'll be able to do all kinds of things uh, that are complicated. The standard template library makes them very, very easy. Also, someday, although this is not a book on Windows programming, uh, someday when you do get to Windows programming, it, the same thing applies, that uh, you'll find that Windows takes care of a whole kinds of uh, multifaceted functions for you. Um, you'll find the standard template library takes care of all kinds of functions for you. you. You have all kinds of resources at your disposal. You need to understand the object-oriented programming syntax first. But uh, so the tip is you do need to learn this. Um, the tip is also that it can be much simpler than it's usually made. Don't be scared about it. And in my book, we start with a uh, very simplified use of it, working up to a point where it's really useful because you can use it to call libraries, to interact with systems that open up lots of possibilities to you as a programmer. So again, um, in today's world, you de do need to learn it. And I've tried to write my book as a way of understanding it and mastering it step by step and not being scared about it.